Well, having kids changes everything, including your relationship with your partner. You're responsible for another life, and as a result, you and your partner have to take a little bit of a back seat. But that doesn't mean you can't still work on your relationship. Joining me today on Mommy, Mommy Monday segment is Dr. Patty Ann Tublin, who is a relationship, communication, and emotional intelligence expert. She has some great advice for all of you couples out there with kids. Thanks for joining us, Dr. Patty Ann. Good morning, happy Monday, and congratulations, a oh. couple of months late. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, um, I think a lot of people struggle in being the couple that they once were after they have kids, and that's what we're talking about. You know, when you're a parent, and especially a parent of multiple kids, right, just kind of gets, uh, it multiplies uh, the, the lack of time that you have for one another when you're constantly putting your kids' needs first. So what are the, some of, like, the hidden signs of a strained relationship between two partners who are parents? Okay, so this is a great question, and I'm so glad that you're asking this because here's what happens. When you have a baby, you get that beautiful bundle of joy, and it becomes the center of your universe, which initially is okay, but then very quickly, you really need to make sure that the baby is not the only Thing in your universe. And that's a red flag where 24 seven, you're with the baby, you talk about the baby, your whole life, everything and anything revolves around the baby. That's a huge red flag, Nicole, because the best thing that you need to do for that baby is to keep your relationship with your partner sound. And there's a couple of different ways that, that we can do that. One is Yes, it's okay for your baby to be in your universe and close to the center, but it shouldn't be the only thing. And the way you make sure that doesn't happen is there's three strategies. One, make sure you prioritize your relationship with your intimate partner. And there's so many different ways to do that. You can have date night. It doesn't have to cost a lot of money. You can take a drive in the car. Or when you're home at night and the kid or kids go to bed, don't be on your phone scrolling. <laughs> Look at each other. Have a conversation. Check in with each other. So prioritize the relationship. You have to be very intentional about that. And the more children you have, Nicole, as you know, the more intentional you have to be about that. <laughs> yeah, The absolutely. next thing is, go ahead. Oh, no, I was just in agreement of everything that you're saying. It's definitely resonating with me. And I'm sure everyone else who's a parent has kids out there. Exactly. And as you know, I have four. So this is not just intellectual knowledge. This is real life experience. The second thing you need to do is do not lose yourself. Do not lose your sense of self and your identity prior to being a mom. Stay connected with your friends. Stay connected with your hobbies to the extent that you can. Yes, I realize some things will have to go to the wayside, but it's not, you just want to make sure that you're not the be all and end, end all as mommy, mommy, mommy. Because think about it, Nicole. Yes, your co workers like to hear about your baby, but like after a while, they don't want to hear all about your baby all day, all the time. I don't know. Ask the guys on the, on the crew. I'm sure you don't do that. <laughs> so make sure you keep some of your interests active and stay connected to your friends. Right. That all and then the last, because, go ahead. Oh, I was going to say that all like ties in with self-identity too, right? Like who you were before exactly. you had the kid and keeping that alive. Exactly. And that's actually a gift that you give to your child, mm -hmm. right? If your child thinks that the only thing that you care about is them, they're learning to be the center of everybody else's world. Guess what? They're not. And that will be a rude awakening. And then finally, perhaps the most important thing is don't neglect your self-care to the extent that you can. All right. So anytime you can outsource anything that takes up a lot of time or things you don't want, do so. If you can outsource somebody to do the cleaning or to you you know have the groceries delivered whatever you can afford financially do so and then if money is tight as it is for most people get involved and do some type of sharing like you know what i'll watch your kids on a saturday if you watch my kids the next saturday so make sure that you don't neglect yourself and turn into a martyr where everything is about the child or everybody else and then you're exhausted and if if you're not filled you can't fill anybody else's cup. 
You said it perfectly. Yeah, burnout is a real thing. It's so important for moms to find that space and that safe space to, you know, commiserate or c connect with other moms and also to help each other out too. Exactly, because we're all in it together. Mm -hmm. And chances are, if maybe you were lucky, Nicole, and maybe your baby slept through the night. My babies, to this day, my kids don't sleep, I swear. Mm -hmm. So you, you don't want to feel like you're the only one going through that struggle. And you don't want to feel like you're doing something wrong. There's so many, think about all the different personalities. They were probably all that many different types of babies. Mm -hmm. So you'll you'll connect, you'll feel like you're all in it together. And And I want all the moms and the dads out here to remember this. It's not the be all and end all what you do in these early stages. Parenting is a life, it is a lifetime challenge, okay? And if you get something not so right, there'll be plenty of opportunities to get it better. Mm -hmm. So don't beat yourself up and think, oh my gosh, my kid's not toilet trained, oh my kid's not talking, oh my kid's not walking, or it doesn't matter. Right. Just show unconditional love with boundaries, though. That yep. doesn't mean you want to raise a hellion. And it will all work out fine. It will all work out fine. And you can go even more in depth with this conversation with Dr. Patty Ann on my podcast, Mommyhood Unscripted, episode six, from partners to parents and back. Dr. Patty Ann, thank you so much. And remember, uh, make sure to uh, check it out. And we have a lot more conversations as well posted up there. Scott, over to you. I was a hellion. I turned out all right. You did. <laughs> <laughs> all right.